Welcome to Pioneer News. I'm Michael Dangerfield. And I'm Seth Daniels. A Kentucky doctor and state senator will be the new commissioner for the Tennessee Department of Health. Dr. Ralph Alvarado steps into the role on January 16th, 2023. Alvarado will resign as a Kentucky lawmaker before taking the post. He succeeds interim health commissioner Morgan McDonald. Well, let's hope he can do good. Gallatin police are warning holiday shoppers to take some precaution as they bounce from store to store. Do not leave valuables in your car. And if your valuable items are visible in your car, your car is automatically a target. Set any alarm or anti-theft device. Once home, unload your valuables immediately. Don't store valuables in your car any longer than necessary and definitely never overnight. Looking for assistance as you close in on finals? Archer can point you in the right direction. Hi, I'm Archer and I'm here at the Learning Commons and these people can save your semester. How do you help students? In Learning Commons, um, there are a lot of different ways that students can get help. Personally, I help mostly with math tutoring. Uh, I help facilitate testing and I help students prepare for college level math classes. So those are the three main things that I do in here. In Learning Commons, there's also reading and writing tutoring. And what tools do you use? One of the things we use a lot is just pen and paper. You know, helping a student, we're right next to them, you know, writing out a problem so that they can actually see it. Uh, if we're tutoring a student online, we might use like a digital whiteboard. Obviously, we use computers if we're tutoring online. Most of our testing is also done online. We use iPads. A lot of times we'll use cell phones. Students have to use their cell phone when they're taking a test so mm -hmm. that we'll have two devices in the room. Um, there are a lot of different kinds of tools we use. Uh, what kind of students do you help? Personally, I help students who are enrolled in mostly learning support classes. That's like high school algebra basically, or uh, up through like college algebra, statistics, pre-calculus. There are other people who can help with help some of the higher level math, but I'm not exactly very good at that. So I kind of stick to the lower level math, um, and that's where I, my, I really help. I mean, some of those students that come in struggle a lot, but by the time that we have a tutoring session, sometimes it takes two or three. They're usually doing pretty well with their math class. Hi, I'm Archer at the Learning Commons for Pioneer News. On the other hand, if you're feeling confident in your academic endeavors, Will says check out the Honors Program. The Honors Program at Vol State is changing students' career paths as well as giving them more options for their future. We interviewed Professor Petrovic to tell us more about the Honors Program and what it entails for students who enter it. What academic benefits does the Honors Program provide to students? Well, first, being a part of the Honors Program means that students are part of a community of scholars and more directly interact with faculty and fellow Honors students. Um, there's an opportunity to get inclusive scholarships and research and internship opportunities. Uh, for example, right now we're getting ready for an honors conference that will be held in February. So we always encourage students to attend and submit proposals because that really helps them build stronger educational portfolio. What changes have you made since becoming the director of the honors program? Since I started it, my main focus has been on helping the program grow and then also our students transition from the pandemic to the post pandemic life. So I've been working hard on communicating with students and making them aware of the honors program here at Ball State. And finally, how does the honors program change somebody's college experience? Well, I think it can certainly enrich students experience. Students who participate in the honors program often report greater personal investment in their academic efforts and closer connections with their professors and fellow students. Well, there you have it. The Honors Program at Vol State is a good way to enrich your college experience as well as set yourself apart from others going to a four-year college or going straight into the workforce. This was Will Reed with the Pioneer News. Need a break after all that studying? Kenneth, aka Kenny G, suggests doing something for your health. Today, we are talking with life, finance, and fitness coach, Sean Shirt. So Sean, 
So we understand health is, is, is important to our bodies, Absolutely. but for students specifically that's dealing with a lot, how can help, health, uh, proper health help them as students? No, yeah, absolutely. I mean, having proper health and working out, there's a thing called neuroplasticity, and that is your brain's ability to handle stress and adopt to change. And so anytime you're doing anything like cardio, weight training, things like that, uh, it's going to really help your ability to handle those things. It's going to help with you know, mental clarity, mood, focus, and just overall performance in life. Looking at your website, yeah. you have a quote on there, and I'm going to quote you. It says, let me show you how to lose 12 to 24 pounds in 90 days. That's right eating whatever you, want, whatever you want, and training less than three to four hours per week. How's that possible? I know it sounds like magic, right? <laughs> yeah. Because, no. so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it, to be able to do this, you have to really understand what to focus on. Okay. Uh, when it comes to fat loss, fat loss is 80% nutrition, 20% training. There's actually okay. a thing called Pareto's Principle, and it's the 80-20 rule. 80% of your results are going to come from 20% of your actions. So in order to be able to lose this kind of weight in that amount of time, you have to really focus on things that matter most. So we have nutrition, which mm -hmm. is understanding caloric intake needs, and then you have your training. Okay. And training is going to be making sure, if you're going to be in a short amount of time, sticking to very good compound lifts. Those are be things like, let's say, uh, reverse uh, lunges. Okay. So that's going to be a thing where you can use like a barbell or a squat rack, and instead of just lunging straight down, you're actually going to step backwards, and you're going to kind of almost hit the knee on one of the ground, and then you're going to come wow. back up. Yeah, so it's, it's a really fantastic exercise. Things like that would be great for lower body squats are really good. Uh, even things like you know your standard bench press um, and stuff like that. Basically lifts that are going to work multiple muscles at okay. one time. Okay, all right. And speaking of that whole cal uh, uh, eating and nutrition, yeah. would calories be important? Honestly, calories are the biggest thing that will determine. Even if you don't get much training in, if you get your calories right, you'll get tremendous progress when it comes to fat loss. So it's really understanding your basic, what's called your TDEE, your total daily energy expenditure. You want to be eating less than that. It's about 3,500 calories in a pound of fat. So you want to be eating wow. about 500 calories less than your maintenance, and that will help you lose about a pound a week. Oh, wow. So I'm going to have to do some math. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of numbers involved, but it's pretty simple. Yeah. All right. So we do uh, appreciate you coming out and talking with us today. So, Thank you for uh, having me. A lot of important and valuable information. And I'm Kenneth Garner with Pioneer News. We have a full schedule lined up with basketball and football this holiday season, with some gifts and some coal. Here's a look at sports. The Titans take on the Bengals on Sunday at noon. They're rolling off a 27-17 victory over the Packers. The Titans' Derrick Henry reached two rushing milestones versus Green Bay with his 10th touchdown for the season. He's one of only four Titans to hit that mark, and he passed the 1,000 yards for the season mark. Tennessee lost Heisman candidate Hendon Hooker for his season after he tore his ACL in Saturday's 63-38 loss to South Carolina. With Hooker sidelined, Tennessee will turn to Joe Milton at quarterback Saturday against Vanderbilt. Vol State notched its first win for the season over the weekend with a 75-60 victory over Cleveland State at the Pickle. They take on Southeastern Illinois College at home tonight. Game time is 7.30. I'm Will Reed, and that's a look at your Pioneer Sports. It's been kind of a roller coaster with Mother Nature as we close in on winter. Here's a look at the forecast. We're looking at clouds tonight and through the morning. The low will be 42. Expect some showers to go along with it, especially in suburban Nashville and Gallatin. Tomorrow through the weekend, it will continue to rain, but at least it's not snow. High tomorrow is up to 55, dropping to 44, and flirting with the 30s, overnight through Sunday. So far, it looks like snow will not be impacting the holiday traffic next week, but make sure you check your tire pressure because the cold will definitely be impacting that. I'm Thomas Schirmeyer with Pioneer Forecast. And that wraps up this edition of Pioneer News. I'm Michael Dangerfield. And I'm Seth Daniels. Thanks for watching.